everybody, it's Tau D762. We're here at Pro Gummies again. Sorry about my uh, lack of uh, update on my videos. It's just been super busy. I haven't had a chance to make a video for you guys. So, I finally got some time today. Uh, here making a video on my Galileo H2. So, what I ended up doing something today. I want to test out something today new is the uh, muzzle brake. Uh, as you can see here, I had gotten the uh, dead air uh, Xeno system or Xeno brake with the Xeno adapters for the uh, their Nomad suppressors. So this is uh, a muzzle brake. They do make the flash header version too, but I wanted to see how it does is the muzzle brake, um, just to see if, if how effective it is. But as a suppressor mount, I totally love it. This thing's fantastic. It's super lightweight and super short. It's a lot shorter than the Nomad series, which I had before. And I didn't have, I mean, there are some things I run into I didn't quite like. Now with this one, it does solve my problems. One is because it's a left hand threaded. So for your AK guys, you will love this because it's just how you thread your normal muzzle devices. Um, the brake itself is right handed, like normally you would on your barrel. It's a 5 by 24 um, So I'm gonna show you how to put on their uh, adapters on the brake. So you put it on, you will see there is a little uh, indicator showing which way it is. Tighten to tighten it. So you just pull it this way. So until you get the point, it will kind of stop. It will be tapered, and you will feel that it's locked. And also, if you look up, the the model number will be on top, so that kind of serves as your indicator for where it's positioned. Um, so now you know it stops. I think they make that uh, purposely did that at a. Uh, as the indicator and to get to take it off if you're done shooting you just go uh, left uh, right hand as you tighten normally you would when you tighten your muzzle devices so you go this way but what the benefit of doing this is that when you do that you actually tightens up your muzzle device and your can the problem i run into before with the, the chemo is that when i untighten it since it's the this way it's sometimes it, it will kind of make it loose for my muzzle device or my can will be loose so in, everything end up coming up together with this it doesn't because you're actually tightening against it so you actually make it tighter on the muzzle device and your can and that come right off so if I make it carbon locked it will be a little harder to do and it will come up together and you have to re-time it re-thread it and also a good thing about this uh, the Xeno system is that it doesn't need to be timed so you just lock it up torque it down Good to go. Whereas your other muzzle brakes, you might, you might have to time it. That's why one thing I want to get try the the Xeno brake is you don't have to time it. Um, okay. So much. Just... All right. And also uh, about a question some of you guys asked me last time about the rifle is that why I like the 3X. I love the 3X because uh, the Prism ACSS from Primary Arms. It's very clear. You get a decent field of view, a high relief. It just picks it all up faster. I don't know if you can see from the, uh, the lenses, the AZSS uh, reticle. It's so easy to pick up. You know, I zeroed this thing at 25. You can take it up to 300, 400, no problem. Really uh, make it a lot of fun to shoot. And of course, if you guys want to ask me about the stock, the stock, it does wiggle a little bit. That's because you know the, all the M4 stock do that, especially the, your mil spec ones. But, it just the stock, it's not the fickle folding mechanism. The folding mechanism is actually pretty tight in. And to unfold it, you just press it down. That's, that's all. And to get it, to unfold it, it's a little harder, but to fold it, I mean, sorry, to fold it is actually, you need a little force, but to unfold it is super easy. It's like, like that, don't just fold.
probably not as quiet as the shorter ones, but for what you're using stuff, it's super 